morning. Today is today. We are leaving Tenerife and set our course towards Martinique. And we have about three weeks ahead of us out at sea. It's so exciting and a bit nervous. And we still have uh, a few things to do before we are ready to leave. So um, we're going to store away yesterday's laundry and uh, just pack the boat up uh, tidy up a bit after uh, a month here in uh, the marina and then we are ready to leave Very successful test of uh, the uh, safety equipment, uh, both the mob units that we have uh, in our uh, life jackets that transmit an AS signal to the boat if one of us would fall overboard, and the uh, EPIRB um, unit that uh, we activate in case of an emergency. Uh, both uh, got uh, okay on their tests, so um, that's a go. It's crazy how long all these small last minute things uh, actually take. Um, but I'm thinking that we're starting to get ready. We just need to have some lunch and then we should be ready to go. Finally, we are on our way, uh, a week or so late, but uh, and a few hours later than planned today, but uh, it feels so nice to be uh, finally sailing again and on our way to Martinique. Uh, it's a beautiful evening and it's a nice sail, so I hope it continues like this uh, for the whole night. Ah, it's so nice. Ah, it's nice to be away. First night of the passage to uh, the Caribbean, day one. Uh, Emmy has just gone asleep and uh, since we left Tenerife we have had really strange winds. They call this like acceleration zone winds, uh, so we have had some of those and the wind has shifted a lot. Uh, we have motoring, we have reefed, we have full sails up and yeah, so it's been a lot of back and forth with the sails and the sea state is yeah, quite choppy. Um, uh, but yeah, it's okay. Uh, looking forward to come more south to more stable trade winds and more flat waters or more like comfy seas. Um, I'm feeling good. Emma is a bit seasick, but uh, hopefully we both will be running no seasickness soon. Um, yeah, see you tomorrow. The first night went by surprisingly well. There was a huge, almost full moon that 
shone super bright so it was almost like having a very dimmed lamp uh, shining on uh, both us and uh, the water so very easy sailing and uh, after like 10 in the evening the wind st stabilized and we could sail uh, with uh, one reef almost uh, the entire night I think we are pretty surprised that we are still able to sail. Uh, in the forecast the wind would uh, calm down and eventually die down completely um, like a few hours ago. But yeah, we're sailing a bit in the wrong direction. We're heading for Africa right now. But we are expecting that the wind uh, will uh, die down as much as we will have to motor later. So then we can head uh, a bit more west again. So um, yeah, uh, every hour that uh, we don't have to listen to the engine, that's uh, good hours. The third night has just begun and just as Marcus was about to go to bed the wind picked up so we decided we should hoist the sail to uh, and get rid of uh, the noise from the engine. Very nice and uh, yeah it's a great sailing, uh, flat waters, a super starry sky and there's uh, bio luminance I think it's called in the water so even the water is glittering It's uh, Lucia day uh, back in Sweden, so it's uh, like saffron buns and uh, pepparkaka and that stuff. Uh, but we are struggling. Uh, it's a shitty day on the Atlantic. Uh, we have uh, a big swell, yeah, not that big, but we have a swell from uh, the east. And we have a swell from the north. And behind us we have uh, yeah, quite high and choppy like wind waves. So uh, Linnea bounces around like a small cork. Um, the sails just are flapping. So we have since this morning, 8 o'clock, and now it's two. around 2 p.m. Uh, work with different solutions to get uh, Linnea sailing. She's just uh, corking around and uh, the sails are just flapping. And uh, when we get some speed, a wave just kicks us, kicks us around and all the wind just blows out, us out of the sails. So um, yeah, it's quite miserable. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know, we don't know what to do actually. Um, we're, uh, yeah, we're, we're trying different stuff and we'll keep on doing that. But we're quite tired of it right now actually. So it's a shitty day on the Atlantic day. So right now we are trying to slow Linnea down a bit uh, with just a reef Genoa and uh, one reef in the main. 
to maybe get her a bit slower so the wind will fill in the sails better. Uh, we have tried also uh, with her cutter jib uh, to prevent her from rolling. Uh, but so far, um, so far no luck. It seems like we finally found a sail setting that actually works with these waves. I think we managed to get in sync with the waves and move with them uh, instead of just in our own pace bumping around. So what actually helped was to roll up the Genoa a bit and only have a small portion of it out. Uh, we kept the reef in the main and also hoisted the cutter to increase some stability. And yeah, I think we thought that when we reduced the Genoa we would slow down but if we slow down, uh, maybe the banging in the sails could stop. But actually we increased our speed, but we moved with the waves. So instead of going fast over a wave, stopping, going fast, stopping, going fast, stopping, we have a, a pretty, pretty calm and a stable pace all the time. So, uh, Thumbs up for that, and um, finally we can get some rest. I think it was eight hours of uh, sail trimming and fixing back and forth. So a bit tired now. Ah, finally! Hopefully I can uh, get some sleep tonight. I'm pretty tired. with the Swedish uh, saffron buns for uh, Lucia. B boat made. Pretty okay. We have been sailing with the first reef uh, since I think three days ago. Yeah, three, two, three days ago, something like that. Uh, just to uh, get the boom out a bit more. But we have had a pretty calm day, and now just as the sun is setting, uh, the wind picked up. So when we checked the weather forecast, we noticed that uh, there will be gusts above 20 knots this night and continue to tomorrow. So uh, just to be on the safe side, we took uh, the second reef and uh, now both uh, we and the autopilot has a much uh, smoother ride again. So um, definitely uh, a very good choice. And we're still doing six, six knots of speed. So. Uh, Finally we are getting some uh, light again. This night has been terrible. 
there's a lot of waves and a lot of wind and the boat is uh, rocking back and forth with, which is uh, kind of scary um, when it's dark so everything feels a little bit better uh, now that it's uh, getting light, uh, light again and the sun is rising so yeah, we're just uh, checking the weather uh, to decide uh, what we're going to do today and uh, um, which direction we uh, are going to sail in. I haven't been able to sleep at all actually, so I'm sitting been sitting up here almost the whole night um, since I think it's better to sit here I can look out and I can see what's happening and I can snooze for a bit and yeah I cannot be down below not because I'm seasick it's just ah oh, it's too noisy it's crazy downside and everything is calm <laughs> exactly what happened? so tired 